So welcome back everyone to the second episode of the VU meter kit that I uh, started building last time. And so we got all the other passives uh, and active components, the uh, chip, all the jacks, everything else soldered but the LEDs. And we determined that the uh, position of the LEDs should be positive uh, on the left hand side and negative on the right hand side. Uh, if you align the board such that the Y is upside down, uh, <laughs> just just Work with me now. Anyway, so here I have removed one of the LEDs, and if I zoom in on that, you can see there's a tiny little triangle, and it's pointing to the right-hand side. So what that means is that's the direction that the diode conducts current. So if I take my uh, multimeter and I put it into diode mode, the positive will be the red lead, and the negative will be the black lead. It'll light up if I put it such that ah, the... Uh, the current is going in the direction of the LED. So, this is really hard to do. Yeah, you can see it lights up. My hands are very shaky. So anyway, yeah, so that's the direction that we have to solder it in. So all the arrows will be pointing uh, to the right side then. So, are you guys ready? You guys ready to do? Uh, well, I'll do one of the. Okay, I'll do one of the LEDs for you guys, and then it'll be a montage, sped up video of me soldering everything else. There's a slight green uh, stripe. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, there's a little bit of a green stripe. Ah, that's actually pretty good uh, on the side. You know, facing out that way. So. Uh, that way. You can see how tiny this guy is. So that little green stripe uh, denotes, if you were to look at the symbol for the diode, where that bar would be. So that's going to be the negative end. So we're just going to go through and solder a single one of these to make sure that we got everything right after all. Retest it, and then I'll go through and solder every single one for you guys. Uh, we'll do a crazy montage video. Hopefully I can find some inspirational music, something like Eye of the Tiger, uh, but, you know, not copyrightable. So there, one LED. Add a little more solder to that. Okay. There we go. So a single LED. Let's retest it. So we can see it lights up. Yay! So now the annoying part. Montage! Ah, oh, finally done. Oh my goodness, I will be happy if I never have to solder another surface man LED for a very long time. Anyway, let's uh, test it out and see if we've appeased the soldering gods. Yep, so all of them at least light up. Now let's plug something in and uh, maybe get some music going. Let me set that up. 
So, yeah, I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, because these are being matrix-driven, I believe they're reverse bi biasing some of them. So actually, all the LEDs are backwards. <laughs> and I found out by switching just the first row, it's luckily not that hard, oh, over here, sorry. Yeah, you can see, yeah, I have them all backwards. But luckily, it's pretty easy and quick. You just uh, heat up both pads, and then if you lift it, you kind of get a feeling for it. I've already done three rows in like a couple minutes. It's actually quicker desoldering them and resoldering them than when I actually put them in, in the first place. So anyway, let me fix my problem. Okay, desoldering the last and final LED. Flip it around. Reheat it, and then finally put some pressure on top as you heat the pad so the chip is flat on the board. And there we go. You can see it just took me a couple seconds to do uh, one LED. To do all of them took maybe like 10, 10, 12 minutes, something like that. So let's plug her in and see if everything survived, which it should have. And there we go. You can already see it's kind of flickering and whatnot. I don't know which switch, yeah. So here's my basic criticism of this kit. I mean, it's great, they, they have more than enough LEDs. Um, the parts are easy to solder, they're relatively large. But the documentation is seriously lacking. Like there's nothing about, you know, the polarity of the LEDs. So actually what I've written, written down was backwards. I had uh, guessed wrong, unfortunately. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, this is in uh, Chinese, so. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, figure out. You can see there's a rudimentary menu system. So let me take you guys to the computer and uh, we'll figure this out. So yeah, I uh, finally figured it out. Um, I just have a, uh, a little 8-bit track I'm going to demo for you guys. Uh, this is royalty free. And so the entire menu is in Chinese. Uh, you press and hold to go to the next one, and then you do a short press in order to change the mode. And the mode is displayed in here, so this is 2, and uh, that guy looks like a person. Anyway, this is what the mode is. And uh, on the, the web page here, you can see, uh, if it were in English, it would go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it explains what the actual modes are. So this would be important to kind of keep track of. Anyway, I set it up so it is... Uh, pretty decent in terms of um, how it works and I have it intercepting my uh, my headphone amp so right before the headphone amp and my speakers so I can adjust the volume and this um, is set by the computer's volume so let's play a little something so yeah um, that's pretty cool actually <laughs> uh, it looks a lot brighter on the screen here than uh, my eyes are seeing. To my eyes, this looks very nice, actually. Um, yeah, it's actually a good thing that I got to go back and swap all the LEDs around 180 degrees because I actually got to better align them. So the alignment's pretty good now. I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah, this uh, works a treat. This will be really cool to stick in a uh, enclosure with like an amplifier dedicated class D amp. Or maybe uh, to put on like a little boombox or something like that, maybe for a future project if I make a Bluetooth boombox, have this as a VU meter. But yeah, I'm just gonna let this play through and enjoy it. So uh, yeah, uh, maybe some uh, reflections are due. So yeah, partially my fault that I soldered them backwards, uh, partially the lack of documentation definitely was a uh, hindrance. So I would definitely suggest if you're going to be doing this, um, uh, just do the opposite of what I did. So basically, uh, let me see. Um, basically, all the there's a like a slight green stripe on the LED. They should all be facing towards the right hand side, and that will get you it done correctly. I would do always do like. I, I should have really double checked as soon as I was done one row to make sure. I, I thought maybe normal operation was they were all dimly lit, but no, that's wrong. It should do um, this uh, scrolling animation at the beginning, so that's how you can check. Just do like a couple of them and see if it does that, and then you know that you got it the right way around. 
So yeah, this is uh, pretty cool though. Definitely have a little cool VU meter now. And uh, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, IC Station for uh, for giving me this kit free of charge. Uh, so yeah, definitely pretty cool site. I would I would say check them out. Um, they have a lot of kits, a lot of parts. Uh, pretty cheap. Their shipping is uh, is reasonably fast. I can say. Yeah. So if you guys are in need of uh, some you know parts for your next project, check them out. I'll just uh, shut up now and let this uh, finish. Okay, quick little addendum. I finally figured out you can switch this from uh, Chinese to English. So when you first turn it on, if you press and hold the button right as you turn it on, it'll display this test mode. And it'll eventually say EN for English, and if you release at that point, it sets it to English. If you release at that point, it sets it back to Chinese. So there. So now, it gets back into this mode, and if we press and hold, now it says A1. E1, and then it follows basically that chart um, that was displayed on the the IC station website for this product. So yeah, now it's in English, and we're all good to go. So what I'm probably going to end up doing maybe is a 3D print. I have a semi-clear translucent filament. So if I 3D print sort of a uh, light baffle, I can you know diffuse this as it's. Um, Kind of a bit bright right now so that would look pretty cool actually and another modification i might do is add a um like a you know lithium battery rechargeable battery with a dedicated charger and a microphone because that would be pretty cool to uh, just have this measuring ambient noise thank you guys and i'll see you later